prophecy from the book of Daniel, the feet of the statue, iron and clay. The feet of the statue in the book of Daniel are made of iron and clay, but what would that be? Does the first thing define what the statue's materials would represent? Was it the strain of a people? So the Babylonian race would be gold? But we have that God is no respecter of people. In other words, it is not because someone is from a family or a people that he is something, it is the actions that determine what an individual is or is not. Thus the material of the statue represents the characteristics of a people. It represents its laws, and its form of government. But let's go to the text that says, And as for what you saw of the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, this will be a divided kingdom, however, there will be something of the firmness of the iron in it, since you saw the iron mixed with mud. What would be the potter's clay? Its Hebrew term is H2635. This is a term that only appears in the book of Daniel. It could be said that it is a type of clay, but the foundation of the word is a material that can be molded, that is, different from iron, this material can be modified. This is the idea of the clay contained in the text. So a clan, in this case a division that can be modified. In fact, today a country can have a government, and then its system can change completely, in which case that government is changeable, like the clay or clay defined in the text. For example, we can observe the term iron firmness, which in the original word would be H5326, and again a unique term from the book of Daniel. And these unique terms can only be understood correctly by studying the lexicon of the word. When you study this word, it is firmly linked to the idea of a column, or tower, or a landmark. It would represent peoples or governments that do not change their system, that are firm in their ways of governing. A country that changes its cultural system, it is represented as a clay, as it is not possible to correctly define the cultural and governmental landmarks of that country. And we can see that today, we have countries with fixed governmental and cultural ideals, and other variables, all managing rules of government and trade by rules of mutual agreement. Clay does not mean that iron dominates clay, but that the government does not have a fixed culture. So we must understand that there will be no domination of one country over the others but that those that are made of clay will change by choice, be similar to one or the other government, whether in culture or in control rules. If you are looking for more content from different areas, visit the reformadorstasad.com website, news and detailed content can be found, with system of research and organization of text and video.